when we live in the world, we feed off of sights, sounds, smells, tastes, tactile sensations, ideas. And the Buddha says it's like being a flayed cow going next to a bush that's full of bugs. And the bugs come and eat at the flesh of the cow. Our senses are being eaten away. And we're feeding on the things that are eating us. It's like swallowing bugs into the stomach, and then they gnaw away at your innards. You've got to clean things out inside. This is why I meditate. <clears throat> Focus the mind just on the breath. Allow the breath to fill the whole body. Sweep through the whole body. Clean things out inside. So at the very least you have a place inside which is your place. Otherwise, everything gets invaded. You don't have any space that's your own at all, because the world of the outside comes in, takes over your mind. It even seems to take over your space inside your body. So you've got to provide yourself with a different kind of food. The food of your good intentions, the intention to stay here with the breath. Feed on that. That's not going to eat at you, and it's actually going to nourish you. So clean things out and provide yourself with good food so you don't keep taking in bad food all the time. This is the basic lesson of the meditation, is that you do have these choices. Where are you going to feed in, in your life? The thing is that we're not only bombarded by things, we actually make ourselves more bombarded. We have our screens, we have our devices, carry them around with us, and they invade our time. We've got to learn how to put them aside. Clean out what you've got inside here so you can have a space that is your own. It's only when the mind has a place where it can settle down and rest that it can have a sense of well-being. As the Buddha said, there is no happiness other than peace. The happiness of the world lies in the fact that you can let your mind rest for a little bit on an object, but then it gets pushed off. And you want to go back, you want to go back, thinking maybe next time I'll get to stay longer, but you get, keep getting pushed off. And the sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations, they eat away at you inside. So you've got to choose better food. The Buddha offers that to you. It's food that you can develop. And as you develop it, then you have your own space inside. Because you can stop taking things from outside, bringing them in, and provide yourself with your own inner nourishment. <clears throat>